I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a garden journal. I'm going to start all the way up here at the top and put a dot. And then I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down to the bottom and leave it floating. I come back to my dot and I draw the same line again. I mimic the line I just drew again and connect. Inside, I add some little straight lines all the way from top to bottom. Keep going. And now we are going to repeat the same thing. Starting at the top, I put a dot and then I draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, mimic that line, draw a wavy, wavy line, connect. Inside, put little straight lines all the way across. And now we're going to do the right hand side. Put a dot, draw a wavy, 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 wavy line down and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way down and add straight lines inside. All the way down. Keep going down to the bottom. Now add one more dot over here on the left and we're going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, draw another wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect and yes, put little straight lines inside all the way. Okay? Now we're going to come up on the left hand side and we're going to hook on to this top wavy line because now we're going to draw a wavy wavy line down, a wavy wavy line up and leave it floating. Right next to it we draw another wavy wavy line down, up, leave it floating and now another wavy wavy line up and connect. I come back over here and I draw the letter V. I come over here on the left side and I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line down and connect on the left. Come up on this side and draw a slightly wavy line down. Connect on the right. Okay? Inside I'm going to draw just some straight slightly curved lines all the way down and over. Inside, at the top, I'm going to write my garden journal. I can squeeze that in. Okay. Now I come down and I'm going to put one, two, three baby circles. And I'm going to put a wavy, wavy line, connect, a wavy, wavy line, connect, <clears throat> excuse me, and one more wavy, wavy line, connect. Come up to the top, slightly curved line out, slightly curved line in. If you have room, little curved line out, in, curved line out, in, curved line out, in, connect. Curve line out, in, curve line out, in, connect. Right down below, I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line all the way over, straight line down, straight line over, connect. This is where you're going to write your name. So I'm going to put name here. You don't have to add that. But right in this space of this rectangle, you're going to add name. Now I draw straight line, straight line, straight line. And inside, I'm just going to draw the letter V, the letter V, the letter V. 
I come back and I go zigzag, 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 and one in the middle. Zigzag, 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 one in the middle. Zigzag, zigzag, one in the middle. These are container, garden containers. Now I come up and I just draw a curved line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up. One, two, three curved lines. One, two, three curved lines. Curve line, curve line, baby circle, baby circle. If you have room, little curve line, straight diagonal down, up, Curve line, curve line, connect on the right. Curve line, curve line, connect on the left. Little curve line, baby circle. Little curve line, baby circle. If you have room, come up to the top, put a dot. Curve line up, down, connect. Put a dot. One, two, three, in a little straight line. Above, curve line, curve line, connect. Below, curve line, curve line, connect. If you have room, put a circle. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag all the way around. Keep going. Happy face inside. Now, let's start at the top and draw. Curve line down, up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, to color this in, I'm going to start with pink. And I'm going to color in my worms. Because worms are very important for a garden. And this is my garden journal. So i got to keep a watch on my worms. I'm going to make these pink. If you want to make your worm a different kind of worm, go for it. But we're basically doing a border of worms. Okay? Next, I don't want my green to be so dark I can't read my garden journal. So I'm going to use a yellow green for my big tree. I get my brown. My color in my tree trunk, very important. And since I have my brown out, I am going to color the top part of my garden container. Because some people don't have gardens that go right in the ground, they have gardens that go in containers. These are going to be carrot tops, so I'm going to make these regular green my little carrot tops, which you can grow in a container. Since I have my green out, I'm going to do my flowers. Some people have flower gardens, some people have vegetable gardens. Okay, I really want these to stand out, so I'm going to make my flowers red. You guys can make them any color you want. This is just for a little pop of color. You know how I am about popping. Okay, in the center, I'm going to make yellow. I'm going to come up to my B and make him yellow. And I'm going to make my son yellow also. You will do a way better job coloring than I will because you're going to take your time. Next, you got to have water. So I made my water blue-green. Got to have some water. And finally, I did my butterflies a light green with a purple body. And my little antennas I made yellow. Now, background color. I think I used regular blue on my final product project I'm going to use blue green on this one you can make a choice and very lightly just to get rid of some of that white so it's not so white 
you just put a light loop-de-loop -loop. not so hard it hurts your hands that's not happening and besides you have so much going on on your garden journal kind of don't want to geek it up with a bunch of color that doesn't make sense but we do want to put a little bit of background around your worms and such okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's my garden journal all colored in be sure and write your name this is the cover for your journal to keep facts about what's happening in your garden okay bye bye